do not excite yourself or become vexed at the success of those doing evil. Do not be agitated or become envious at the prosperity of those doing unjust things. For like the grass, they will hastily dry up and wither. Like the greenery of springtime, they will wither and fall to the ground. Do good. Do what is right. And trust in our Lord. Live calmly and securely in the land. And practice faithfulness. Find your pleasure in our Lord. And he will grant you the desires of your heart. Roll under the shoulders of our Lord all your concern for your life and for the path that you must take. Rely on him and he will act on your behalf and he will make known his justice for you as if with a bright light. He will make it known and his judgment for your case well as if displayed under the noonday sun. Be still, and be quiet before our Lord, and wait for Him. Do not excite yourself or become vexed with the one who is successful while on his unjust path, with the one who carries out wicked plots and schemes. And leave anger alone. Leave rage behind. Do not excite yourself or become vexed, which only leads to harm and evil. For those doing evil and bringing harm will be cut off from our Lord. They will perish from the land. But those who wait for and hope in our Lord, they will inherit the earth. For in just a little while, the wicked will be no more. They will vanish from the land. And though you carefully examine and search his place, he will not be found. He will not be. But those who are humble, those who bow before our Lord, will they will inherit the earth and will take great delight in his deliverance, in his abundance of peace, prosperity, and contentment. See, the wicked plan evil schemes against the innocent, against the devout, and they grind their teeth in rage towards him. But our Lord is not troubled by their schemes. He knows they are not worth excitement or vexation. For he knows that the day appointed for the wicked is approaching. See, the wicked have drawn their sword, and they have bent their bow to bring destruction to the poor in spirit and to those in need of justice, to ruthlessly kill those of strong moral character, those who are blameless in their conduct. But the sword of the wicked will return home to their own heart, and their bows will be broken. Better is the little belonging to the upright than the wealth of much wickedness. So do not become vexed, for the arms, the strength of wickedness, will be shattered. But our Lord sustains moral innocence. See, our Lord knows the days appointed to the impeccable, to those having integrity, and their inheritance is forever. 
they will not be put to shame in times of evil. And in days of famine and hunger, well, they will eat their fill and be satisfied. But all wickedness will perish, and the enemies of our Lord, you know, those who practice wickedness, are like the noble splendor of the meadows. They will fade away. Like so much smoke, they will vanish. Wickedness borrows and does not pay it back. But the innocent and upright is gracious, shows favor and is giving. Yes, those blessed by our Lord will inherit the earth. But those placed under a curse by Him will be cut off. The steps of a man, even the young and the strong, are made ready by our Lord. And He takes pleasure in and is delighted by walking this path. And though he will encounter disaster, he will not be hurled down. He will not be undone. For our Lord is holding and supporting his hand. I was once a young boy, and now I have grown old. In all that time, I have not seen the innocent and upright abandoned. I have not seen him left in need, nor his children left searching and pleading for bread. He is ever gracious and showing favor to the poor and needy. He lends freely, and his children come into blessing. Change your direction and turn away from evil. Do good. Do what is right. And live calmly and securely in the land forevermore. For our Lord loves justice and will not abandon the ones faithful to Him. He forevermore guards and cares for them. But the children of the guilty will be cut off. But the just, the innocent, those who are faithful, they will inherit the land and will dwell upon it forevermore. The mouth of the faithful will proclaim prudence and wisdom, and his tongue will speak what is right and just. All the teachings, all the instructions of his God are in his heart. He loves them and muses on them day and night, and his steps do not falter. The guilty and wicked person lies in wait for the faithful innocent was seeking to put him to death. But our Lord will not leave him in the power or the purposes of the wicked. And our Lord will not condemn the faithful when he is so judged by the wicked. Trust in and wait for our Lord. Hold on to and devote yourself to His way, and He will exalt you. He will raise you up to inherit and possess the land. You will in triumph watch the disappearance of the wicked. I 
have seen the wickedness of a man, violent, exposed, and spreading, like a tree of luxuriant leaves growing in its native soil. He went his way, and lo, he has vanished from the land, and though I have searched for him, he could not be found. So keep watch over purity and innocence. Shepherd and protect honesty and uprightness. For such a man, the future outcome will be peace. But those who are being disloyal, who are transgressing, they will altogether be destroyed. For the wicked, the future outcome is to be cut off to perish from the land. But the deliverance of the faithful from trouble and wickedness is from our Lord, who is their stronghold, the place of their refuge in times of need and distress. And our Lord will help them. He will bring them into security. He will deliver them from the wickedness, and he will help and save them because they have taken refuge in him. <laughs>